Okay, our topic today is rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry, as it says at the top of the page here, meaning the figure is itself or looks like itself after turning 180 degrees or less of rotation. Uh, examples of this would be a pinwheel, ferris wheel, star shape, or many kinds of flowers have uh, rotational symmetry as well. Okay, so let's look at three shapes here. And one other uh, vocabulary word we need to look at before we continue on is, is the expression center of rotation. The point around which the figures are rotated is called the center of rotation. So if I look at these three figures here and try to pick out the center of rotation, it would be like the middle. So something like that, in a triangle shape, and we find the middle of the rectangle somewhere in there. And the same with this uh, sort of a plus sign or uh, a shape in the, in the under C here. Somewhere around the middle there is a spot where it, it would be the center of rotation. Uh, now the order of rotation is the next expression we need to look at. And this is very, very important. The order of rotation is the number of times a shape fits onto itself in one complete turn. So the uh, center of rotation is like an axle, and it turns around. That's boy. If I rotate this around, this first figure A here, I keep rotating it around. How many times will it look like itself in 360 degrees? Well, when this point comes up to the top, it would look at other points that move around look just like the original. And if I keep doing it again, move this one around, it'll be the same thing. So what happened is this shape has an order of rotation of three. There's three different positions in 360 degrees that it looks exactly the same. Okay, go to the next one, B. If we rotate this figure around, once it goes 180 degrees, okay, it looks exactly the same. And another 180, be the 360 degrees would be the same again. So the order of rotation of B would be 2. There's, it looks the same twice in 360 degree rotation. What would you guess about C? Well, C, once I rotate that chunk, that side up to the other side, there's four sides here, they're identical. So basically, if you look at it carefully, every 90 degrees you rotate it. So it's kind of like there's draw like that. So just go 90 degrees, it would look exactly the same. Keep doing every 90 degrees. Well, how many 90 degrees are in there? 360? There's four of them. So four, four um, is the order of rotation for the third example here, C. Okay, so let's uh, continue on here. The angle of rotation the angle of rotation is the smallest measure of an angle needed to turn a shape onto itself. What's the least number of degrees? In other words, the minimum measure the angle needs to be rotated in order to look like itself again. That's the angle of rotation. It be met, we can measure it as a fraction or as a fraction of a turn. Okay, so a fraction of a turn or number of degrees. The fraction of the turn, so let's just look at this here, A here, fraction of a turn is found by putting 1 over the order of rotation. Well, for A here, for the triangle, the order of rotation was 3. Okay? So what is, let's just take this here, 3. And the and so what you put that 1 over that would be 1 third of rotation would give us the same shape again. And uh, what about B? How would I figure the, the, uh, the angle needed for that if I used the fraction of a term? Well, I take and put 1 over. Always just put the, put the 1 over the order of rotation, 1 half. So turn 1 half a complete turn gives me the same thing again. And lastly, be 1 over 4. So that's pretty simple. As long as we know the order of rotation, well, it's a little messy there. Order of rotation, we can always get the, um, the fraction that would give us the angle of rotation.
quarter of a turn. Now what about the degrees? If I wanted to find the degrees, so we did we did the uh, the first the fraction. What about the degrees? Well, degrees calculated by taking the degrees in a circle, which is 360. Okay, we take 360 and we divide it by the order of rotation. So divide that by 3 and it gives me 120 degrees. So mathematically speaking, we often use the, the degrees to answer this question. So the B part would be a half a turn or 360 degrees, degrees in a circle, divided by 2 because the order of rotation is 2 and that gives us an angle of 180 degrees, which is half a circle. And lastly, our quarter of a turn here would be um, or 360 degrees divided by 4 and this one is 90 degrees. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Very quickly we've gone over those things again. We've talked about rotational symmetry, what that is, center of rotation, some, okay, and then the order of rotation which it can be used to help us find the angle of rotation which can be expressed in two different ways either as a fraction of a turn or as a degree measure.